some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we have an Australian frauditor today that goes by the name of Alex from Collaborative Observations. And it is very unfortunate for you Aussies that he has memorized the American frauditor script. I apologize for that. I'm sorry we sent that plague over to your country. Anyway, he pushes the limits and gets himself arrested. And this video is quite long, so I'm going to have to cut out his some of his circular reasoning because he just goes on and on and on about it. So, why bore you guys with the same circular argument over and over again? At any rate, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. I'm just taking some pictures. Oh, sorry. Just the building. Anything that comes. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll come around. Okay? Oh, we got a bat. Just anything, the building and stuff. Can I see what you've been taking, please? Because if you've been taking photos of people, then that's not allowed. It's, I'm not allowed to take not pictures allowed, of not people. Without their, not without their permission. If you're coming straight up, we're putting photos in the office. Oh, they're in public, I mean, they're visible from public, very, they've yeah, got no... You're going right up to the window and you're taking photos, so can I see please what you've mm. taken? You, no, that's not... You can't no. take people, photos of people without their permission. In public? This isn't there's no, ex, that, that's there's no public expect... Place. That is an office building. That's but why. they're visible, I was in public. So yeah, they're, you they're were in public, public, but they're not in public. In a, they're in an no. office, in a private office. They have to... Pro they have to create their own privacy from the public? No, they don't. No, they don't. This is an office building. If you, if you take photos, you can take photos outside of other things, but not of people. Not of people in a private can, space. So Victorian state law says I can take pictures of anything that I can no, see from public? No. I can show you the law? Yeah, Victorian law. Let's take a quick look at a snippet of that. Well, according to this... There are areas that may raise concerns, such as swimming pools, beaches, parks, cemeteries, etc. It is advised that you check with the relevant authorities beforehand, and even the government may oppose sanctions on certain government properties, such as railways, power stations, military areas, it is illegal to trespass in these areas and may lead to prosecutions. You should always check the relevant agencies for their rules and regulations, pretty much. Which clearly you're not doing, you're just walking right in there and saying that you have the right to do it. Just like an American frauditor would do, following the script to the letter. Can you please show me the photos? I, no, that's my personal business. Yeah. So. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Can you wait yeah. here, please? Okay. Thank you. You want to yeah. take a seat, that's fine. Okay. I'll just, I just want to have another look around. It's a beautiful building you have here. Yeah, you're mistaken that... No, um, I'm not. So there's no expectation of privacy in public? No, so sorry. Ah, yes, more of the same lame frauditor script, no variation. Even with this Australian frauditor, you think he would come up with something unique, but no, he does not have the brains for it. They were visible from public? Yeah, but you cannot go straight up and take photos of people without oh, they can, permission. They can put curtains there if they don't want to be seen from public. No, it's not, not my It's not no, my not problem. Right. It's not, yeah. No, sorry. you should not be taking photos of people without their consent. Not in public. I don't need consent in public. I don't know you where do, you got you that do. from. You can't, I can't cooperate so with you. So when I go to Disneyland and take a picture of my children and, and there's 4,000 people in the background. This is not Disneyland, you damn idiot. That is a theme park. This is an office building. And that is a very bad analogy. You fail totally. 
I wonder if our own frauditors melted this Aussie's brain. People, you weren't taking a journal this time. Oh, I went you straight up to the window. You went up to the window taking photos. I saw you. That's what I've done. I just yes, went up exactly. to the window. And, and there's people photos. in there. So well, can same you, as at Disneyland. Can you please have a seat while we, uh, we sort yeah, this okay. out? Okay. I'm just going to do a loop around quickly and I'll be back. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Um, what, what did you want me to wait for? Because we're just, we're making a phone call at the moment just okay. to see. Okay. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hey, got Michael, cool, thanks. No, not much. Any reason why you're filming, or? Oh, just to take some pictures. Oh, why? Yeah. Just to take pictures, yeah. Okay. Can you just stay two metres, please, COVID and stuff? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a bit uncomfortable when, when you're filming people. We're not sure what you're, what you're doing. Yeah, there's no expectation of privacy in public. It's a public building, I'm in public. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Do you want to tell me why you're filming, or? Just to take pictures, I've already told you. Okay, no problem. What's all the commotion for a few pictures? Comfort levels. Hmm? Comfort level. No, I'm just curious as to why you're taking pictures. Well, I just, I already told like 10 people that I'm taking pictures to take pictures. It's a bit unusual, that's all, so you can understand why we're a bit, I mean, what's he doing, you know? Taking photos inside? I guess I can understand, but to, you know, to make all that commotion and stuff, calling the cops, it's pretty crazy. It's not so crazy when you think about it, when you know that people have scouted buildings like this for nefarious purposes. Yeah, we don't, get, we don't often get people taking photos inside the building. That's a shame. That's mm. a shame. Mm. Yeah. Any reason why you're... Uh... I just take pictures, yeah. I like it. I like taking pictures. and It's a beautiful building. It's a lot of um, important stuff goes in there. And... My name's Adam. Anyway, I'm local laws based on city. Adam, so, nice yeah. to meet you, mate. I'm Alex. You're Alex. Alex? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Local laws. I never seen that before. Yeah, no, we do all the local law stuff, animal management, things like that. So ah, yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Is the rangers and stuff are they local uh, law or not? Rangers are more shire. They're, they're oh, shire yeah. councils. Oh, yeah. So hmm. awesome. Hmm. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. So Alex, what's your last name, Alex? Oh, I'm not going to give up, mate. Yeah. Give yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, so what are you going to do from here? Are you going to just you going to sort of hang around or are you going to... Well, they said they're calling the police. I don't want the police chasing me. So Hello. Waiting, waiting for the police, are you? Well, I don't want the police chasing me. How you going, mate? Hi. Good. Good. Are you recording? Yes, I am. What for? Oh, just for myself, yeah. Just take some pictures and stuff. Yeah. That's a bit unusual around the council building. There's laws that probably prevent that. And suspicious behaviour around our building. It's a health and safety. Suspicion is a crime or...? It's concerning for us because we don't know what your motives are. We don't know what who you are and why you're doing this. This is unusual behavior. So, you know, we have every right to protect our staff and our right. buildings and that. Yeah. So, well, there's about 15 cameras in that building. They're constantly on videotape. I don't know why they're feeling uncomfortable or you, you feel threatened. Well, we, don't, we don't know what your intentions are and why you're here videotaping. With the pictures. Staff. Yeah, well, why? It's, it's unusual behavior. Wouldn't you agree? So no, it, it, not at all. I'm allowed, in public, I'm allowed to take pictures. I you to stop. I'm going to politely decline, yeah, I'm in oh. public. That would, be, that would be violating my rights. Well, we'll, we'll Victorian state law says I can record in public. We'll get the police here too. Okay, I mean, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, but, we will yeah. do that because we, we take staff security and the security of our building and our assets just a serious thing. Uh, we don't know your intentions or whatnot, and that's why we'll take this action. Yep, okay. I've asked you to stop recording. Yeah, I'm not going to stop recording, absolutely not. Yeah. And, and, and during, you won't be violating my rights is today. Is there any reason that you, you are recording? I'll just take some pictures. I've already said it about 15 times now. So, but what are you taking pictures of? Just to take pictures so of the whole building. Including staff? Well, absolutely. They're public servants. Yeah. That, that seems sensible and reasonable. Absolutely. They're in public. So when you go to Disneyland and you take a picture of your kids, do you ask the 4,000 people behind you to, for permission? Slightly different. Slightly different. Why? It's both it's public. Very different context, isn't it? Why? Because 
because they're there taking holiday photos or whatever they're doing. They're not hanging around a public building. I'm not hanging around. I've been here. For, I was here for three minutes until yeah. you guys and said you you're calling the cops on me. Going up to windows and filming inside of the building. Oh, it's on. It's public property. I'm on See, public that's property. Not normal behavior. It's not normal no, behavior. It's not. It's not what a person would normally take video of, or recording of, um, and that's where it's suspicious. Yeah, I so. yeah find that hard to believe. So if I'm walking down the street and there's a public, whatever it may be, something that's open to the public, I can put my camera in the window. That's fine. Like I'm walking past there, my eyes can see it. I can put my camera in there. It's not a problem. No, we also have local laws in this municipality about behavior on council land in municipal places which is you know, one of the requirements that you may be breaching. So. Yep. Can I get your name, please? Yep. My name is John Coates. I'm the manager of amenity protection with Bayside Council. Okay. Thank yeah. you. And your, your details? Uh, I haven't given my name. I'll tell you my first name, Alex. Okay, yeah. Alex. Thank you. Are you a local resident? Or? Um, I don't want to answer any of those questions. Right. Thank right. you. Well, Alex, as I said, I've asked you to stop recording. Yeah. I'm not going to let you violate my rights, mate. And, and I'm not demanding that you do it, I'm just asking. Okay, I'm going to polite, um, politely yeah. decline. Thank yeah. you. Fair enough, and we'll, we'll just ask the police to attend, and I'm, I'm sure they will again. You, you have the right to do that? Further. From the local law tellers, is there anything you'd like to add? Yeah, I'll ask you to stop recording, so... Yeah. Yeah. So it's a bit of a safety issue, the public, so we're not sure what you're, you're actually doing here. That's why we yeah. ask you... I've told you, it's just to take pictures. Just to take pictures. I mean, if someone walked past those windows and looked in, you wouldn't be asking their name and calling the police on them. Well, it's just because I'm taking a picture. It doesn't make sense. You, you, you'll see, the police will tell you. They can't do nothing. If, you, if you're that worried about people seeing into those windows, I suggest you put blinds on there. I mean, instead of calling the police on people for looking in there, you know. We're debating different points. Seeing and looking in normally passively, that's a different scenario than someone coming up to a window with a camera and taking a photo with the intent of taking a photo inside of a car. I, I mean, I can see it with my eyes. I can go home and uh, draw an exact painting of what I just saw. You can't trespass my memory. You can't trespass my eyes. What would you do then? It's the same thing as the camera, sir. It's not a difference. I, I, I beg to differ. Oh, you can. You're being irrational, my opinion. But well, that's my opinion. Yes, my opinion is that you know the, 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 your conduct seems suspicious and concerning to us from a health and safety perspective as well as a privacy perspective. Yeah, there's no expectation of privacy in public, sir. So I was standing in public. They don't have an expectation of privacy. You should know that. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it to... Further review and further okay. assessment. Hello. Hey. How you going? Good, Good thanks. Alex, is it? Yes. Can I just get your name and badge number, please? My name's Holly Cody, First Constable 4952. Thank you. And your name and badge number, sir? What's your name, mate? I, I said it's Alex. Yeah, you, your surname? I haven't given it. Can I just get your name and badge number, please? What are you doing? Is it not professional for you to give me your name and badge number, sir, if you're communicating with me? I haven't got your details yet. So if you give me your I mean, details, I'm not a public right. servant. You should be. Is it not professional for you to give me? What are you me? doing here today, Alex? I'm just taking some pictures. Can you just, can I get your name and badge number, sir? Unless we're executing legislation, we don't have to give you our name and badge number. I've read your policy. You, if you're communicating yeah, Alex, with the public. The moment is, Alex, I need okay. you to look at me and listen to me for a second, okay? okay? You're trespassing at the moment, okay? Staff have asked you to leave. Okay? We have legislation. If you don't provide us your name and address, you'll be placed under arrest. Do you understand that? Uh, they can't ask me to leave for any reason. They're, they're violating leave. my rights. Alex, listen to me for a second. Yes. I've asked you to leave, okay? For what reason? The staff have asked you to leave because you're in here trespassing at the moment, okay? You're filming. I understand that's fine. You're allowed yes. to film, okay? Staff have asked you to leave. You haven't left. Well, they've asked okay. me because I'm filming. To so, leave. at the moment, we've asked you to leave. Are you going to leave? <sighs> Um, I mean, I, am I going to get a trespass notice? Because I'm going to sue you guys. That's I mean, right. you have no right to kick me out. They have I'm no right you, to ask me Alex, to leave. I'm telling you, you need to leave. Are you going to leave? Are you going to give me a trespass notice? I'm telling you right now, are you going to leave? All right, we'll, we'll stand outside then. I'll, I'll talk Bye. to you there. Oh, you don't want me to leave now? Alex, I need your 
your details. What is your last name? For trespass? Correct. If you refuse so, to give your details, you'll be placed under arrest. So, I, you are demanding me to give you my you. name correct. for a details, crime of trespass. Are you for the crime of trespass, correct? correct? Can you just answer my question? So, yes. I answered your okay. question, you need to answer So, right now. after I give you my ID, will I receive a trespass you may notice? notice? I may. Is that likely? I have to speak to staff. Okay. I mean, I, I may is not really a, a it's suspicion it's of a crime. It's a may. I don't have to clarify that with you. I need is that to likely? Alex, I'm not going around in circles but, with you. But you, okay? you, you got to ask for my name for a crime, so and you're saying maybe it's a crime. Okay, we're giving you ample that. opportunity to provide your details. You can be placed under arrest now if you don't provide them. So for a maybe crime, you're going to arrest me because I'm not giving my name. Okay. Is that right? All right. Arrest me. This frauditor plague is continuing to spread far beyond the border of the United States. While there is nothing inherently wrong with taking photographs or video, there can be issues with taking pictures or video of government buildings with secure information in it. In some cases, that might be considered espionage. Now just think of a different time and place that this was occurring in, such as World War II. Do you think you'd be walking around the government building with a video camera doing this during that time period? I don't think so.